final leg. Back again to talk about some of the great highlights that we had specifically in the NCAA and a couple other great pro results around the world. Jumping into those NCAA athletes though, first we have Laird Terrence. He's a junior at LSU. In that 200 meters, he was competing at Clemson and managed to get the NCAA leading performance 20.43 seconds. Really strong again, NCAA leading performance for 2020. Definitely going to be a factor at NCAA champs when it gets to March next month. Also on the women's side in the 200 meters, we had a navy a battle from ohio state she has also been very consistent over the past year or so she managed to get the ncaa lead 22.66 seconds for the women really strong performance hopefully she's going to replicate some of the performances she had last year when we get to ncaa champs she's followed very closely behind on the 200 meter ncaa list by thelma davies she previously had the ncaa lead davies from lsu the freshman there she now is second in 22.80 seconds and then also abby steiner she runs for kentucky and she ran 22.86 just behind a Navy battle in that same race. So great performances in the 200 meters for the NCAA this past weekend. Moving up to the 400 meters, we have Donisha Anderson. She's a sophomore at Florida. On the women's side, she managed to get the NCAA lead in that 452.06 seconds. Again, NCAA lead on the cusp of breaking that 52 second barrier. So really strong performance for her. On the 2020 list, just behind her this weekend, we saw Shea Anderson, who competes for US UCLA. She managed to run 52.07 seconds, so just right behind her. And we also have Kyra Constantine. She managed to move get up to number three, running 52.14 seconds. So great performances by these three ladies in the 2020 NCAA season this past weekend. Stepping it up to the 800 meters, we have Nia Aiken. She's a senior at UPenn. She managed to get the NCAA lead in a huge performance of two minutes, 71 seconds. Not only a 2020 NCAA lead, a personal best for her, but that makes her number two all time in the NCAA in that women's 800 meters. So definitely going to be that front runner going into the NCAA champs. And we might see her potentially push towards that NCAA record. So keep a lookout for Aikens. Now back on the men's side, this time in that 3000 meters, we had three Northern Arizona University runners throw down huge performances in that 3K. Luis Garava, he came up first running 749.73 seconds. Not only an NCAA lead for 2020, but also makes a number six all time in the NCAA. So great performance for the sophomore there. Also, he was followed very closely behind by Jordy Beamish. He's a senior. He managed to run 744.67 seconds, which makes him number seven all-time in the NCAA. And they were also followed behind by Tyler Day. He's a senior also at Northern Arizona University. He got up with 745.70 seconds. So great performances by these three guys in that 3,000 meters. Heading back over to the sprints in the women's 4x400 meter relay. At the Tyson Invitational, we saw the Kentucky women's team. They got the 2020 NCAA lead. 3 minutes, 29.74 seconds, improving upon the lead they already had previously. So really great performance there. They were followed very closely behind by USC, Southern California. They came up with number two in the NCAA, 3 minutes, 30.23 seconds. So great performances. We're definitely going to see a huge duel at the NCAA champs later on this season. Finishing off on the track, we had Trey Cunningham, who has been dominating the 60 meter hurdles all season, pretty much unchallenged for the entire season. He improved his personal best in NCAA lead running 7.51 seconds. Again, not only a 2020 NCAA lead and a personal best, that moves him to number seven all time in the NCAA. So definitely going for a huge, huge performance at NCAA champs and likely going to be the one to get that NCAA title. So keep a lookout for Trey Cunningham. Now let's head over to the field events. First in that women's high jump, Ellen Ekholm from Kentucky and Abigail O'Donohue from LSU have been going back and forth the entire season. Abigail O'Donohue, she first got the NCAA lead this weekend with one point eight nine meters personal best for her but Ellen Ekholm she responded managed to get the NCAA lead getting it back in 1.90 meters so just one centimeter ahead of what O'Donohue did here so really strong performances again we're going to see a great clash and a great competition at NCAA champs between O'Donohue and Ekholm. In the pole vault we had Olivia Groover from Washington she's been very consistent this season really dominating the pole vault she was at USA championships and managed to jump a personal best and NCAA lead of four 4.70 meters. Again, personal best NCAA lead that also makes her number two in the NCAA all time. So huge performance for her. She's definitely going to be challenging potentially for that NCAA record later on in the season. On the men's side in the pole vault, we also had two very strong performances. Casey Lightfoot, he's a sophomore at Baylor. He managed to get that NCAA leading performance, 5.83 meters. Personal best NCAA lead makes him number five in the NCAA all time. So great performance there. He was also joined by Zach Bradford 
Stafford, who managed to jump 5.80 meters. Huge performance for him, which makes him number eight in the NCAA all time. So that men's pole vault is definitely heating up. Definitely going to be one of the top events to follow at NCAA champs. Now over in the men's long jump, we had Kerry McLeod. He's the freshman at Tennessee. He got a huge personal best and NCAA lead of 8.16 meters. Really strong performance, really separating himself from some of the other NCAA competitors. Definitely heating up in that men's long jump and one to look out for for the rest of the season. On the women's side of things in the long jump, Taisha Price, she's a junior at Kansas State. She also got out to a great personal best and performance of 6.65 meters. 2020 NCAA lead, definitely one to look out for as well. Keeping it in the jumps, this time in the triple jump, we had Jordan Scott. He's a senior at Virginia. He managed to get out to an NCAA lead of 17.02 meters. So very strong performance for him. He's likely going to be going to NCAA champs competing in both the triple jump and the long jump. So definitely one to look out for. Finally, in the men's shot put, we had Adrian Papari. He's a junior at Texas. In that shot put, he managed to get out to a 2020 NCAA lead, 20.83 meters. So great performance for him. Definitely one of the favorites going into NCAA champs. So keep a look out for him. Now, a couple pro results to highlight. First, Grant Holloway. He was competing at Clemson. He managed to get out to a huge performance in his season opener, 7.48 seconds in those 60 meter hurdles. A 2020 world leading performance and one of the fastest times in the history of the 60 meter hurdles. So he's definitely showing he's going to have a great outdoor season in those 110 meter hurdles. In addition, still at Clemson, we had Kendra Harrison, also of the United States. She managed to run in those 60 meter hurdles, 7.80 seconds. She already had the world lead, so this improves upon that world lead that she previously had. Definitely one to look out for in those 100 meter hurdles. She's going to be looking to improve upon the silver she got in Doha going for that gold medal. So keep a look out for Kendra Harrison. Heading over to Germany, we had a great meet going down in Berlin. Malika Mihambo, who competes for Germany, she got out to a world leading performance 7.07 meters in that long jump again world leading performance and definitely the consistency she had in 2019 is looking to be carrying over into 2020 so keep a lookout for her she was also followed very closely behind by Esse Brume she came up for a personal best of 6.79 meters so really great performance again she got bronze at the 2019 Doha World Championships she's going to be looking to improve upon that going into 2020 and really represent for Nigeria so keep a lookout for both Brume and Mihambo. Finally, have to highlight Maria Lasiskene in that high jump. She managed to jump 2.05 meters. Didn't happen this weekend, was late last weekend, but definitely wanted to highlight her. Of course, she is one of the clear favorites going into Tokyo this year. Definitely going to be looking out to see what she's able to do in the 2020 season. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from the NCAAs and a couple other pro results. Make sure you guys check out the last two videos I did on the Glasgow World Indoor Tour meeting and also on the USA Indoor Championships. All right, so make sure you guys like the video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel leave a comment below let me know what your favorite performance from this past weekend was from any meet around the world all right so keep tuning in and we'll be back again in the next video thanks